Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. If you're a returning subscriber, I really love and appreciate your support. And if you're new here, definitely consider clicking that subscribe button to join the family. I make lots of videos on natural hair, so lots of DIYs in order to help us grow strong, healthy, and long natural hair. So if this is the kind of stuff that you're into, definitely be sure to click that subscribe button and your notification bell so you know next time I post a new video. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you how to make this amazing moisturizer like this moisturizer is so good it will help you grow your hair faster it will keep your hair moisturized give your hair lots of shine and also make it nice and thick so if you're interested definitely be sure to keep on watching and watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information like i always say guys you don't want to miss out on any step on how to make this so keep on watching if you're interested now this is one of my favorite recipes and i don't think i've ever shared it with you guys but i've i believe there's love in sharing so yeah let's hop into the video now the first ingredient we're going to need for this recipe will be some basil now i love basil in my food especially if i'm making like stew and stuff like that but it's also a very great ingredient for our hair now basil can actually help speed up the hair growth process by stimulating the follicles and essentially uh, promoting you know healthy cell uh, hair growth so really really good to have into your regimen you can get basil uh, essential oil as well is absolutely fantastic but you can make your own as well just like i would you will later on find out in the video it's very very simple yet very beneficial as well so mine is quite nice and clean so i just chopped that up and then i'm just putting it in a bowl here now i'm going to be working on my next ingredient which would be some fresh aloe vera now you guys know already how much i love Love, love love aloe vera i mean it's my all-time favorite i've used it for so long and with amazing benefits from and like i always say guys if you're not allergic to this definitely definitely consider adding to your regimen because you will definitely reap the benefits now aloe vera is absolutely amazing for both our hair and scalp now we all know the importance of having a healthy scalp because essentially that's where your hair grows from and if your scalp is unhealthy that's certainly going to hinder the hair growth process now aloe vera is really good because it keeps it nice and healthy it prevents dandruff itching of the scalp which again can cause hair loss it's full of vitamins that can certainly help to stimulate the calls and essentially improve or increase hair growth so i just love 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 to use it and i'll suggest that you do as well so for this i didn't use so much so just a small bit of the aloe vera that i cut and essentially i rinsed it off and just cut it into smaller pieces and i'm just combining this with the basil that we had initially So now I'm going to go ahead guys and add some olive oil. Now feel free to use grapeseed oil or any other oil that you've got available. I just love, love, love olive oil as well because of how it makes my hair look so shiny. It makes it more manageable for my hair as well. So I added, I don't know, know exactly how much I've added guys. Feel free to add as more, as much sorry as you need or as little as you need. Um, so after that, I'm going to go in next with some Emerson powder. Now, Emerson powder is also amazing for stimulating the follicles and increasing hair growth because essentially what this does, it increases the length of time that your hair stays in its anagen phase, which is the growing phase. So essentially, it just helps you to have longer hair over time. Now, it doesn't dissolve in, in uh, oil, but I added this to this because I've got aloe vera in it, so that's going to help dissolve it. So I then went in with a little bit of emulsifying wax. Uh, now this is just to allow the water from the aloe vera and the oil to bind together properly so um, again I just went ahead and just mixed everything together until it was sort of somewhat combined now I'm gonna place this in a bowl so basically just be doing like the double boiler method just to um, you know reduce this down so essentially you want to leave it on there for about 20 minutes or maybe 30 minutes depending on the temperature of your stove so after this is done you will notice that the 
basil and the aloe vera have got darker in color um so it will go from like bright green just like we had earlier to this sort of color and that's how you know it's ready and also you find that your oil your oil has got much greener in color so essentially just let that sit around to cool down and then we're going to go ahead and strain this um to do it i'm using a wig cap but again feel free to use anything you normally use uh, even just a regular sieve would be fine for this but i really wanted to extract most of the aloe vera juice that i had in this so this is much better for me because i'm actually going to go ahead and squeeze it as well just like you will later find out just so that you know i can get all of the goodness of the aloe vera out pretty much when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right okay guys so at this point i had finished squeezing it and this is what it looks like you can go ahead and use it like this immediately if you want to um but i wanted to make more like a a butter or you know something that looks a bit more uh, uh, like a conditioner so a thicker consistency so i popped that in my freezer for a little bit i think it was about five minutes and then i'm going ahead here just to whip it um so i'm just using a hand mixer to do this um so you want to go ahead and whip 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 until you get the sort of consistency that you want now you will later on find out that i wasn't getting the consistency that i wanted so this is what i ended up with guys the first time so i popped that back in my freezer again um just to allow it to solidify just a little bit more um so this shouldn't take more than five minutes really well i guess it depends on the temperature of your freezer um but it didn't take too long for me so essentially once i got it out i'm now adding a bit of preservative here so i'm using phenoxy ethanol as a preservative um, but feel free to use any other preservative that you've got um, so you can sort of see that it has solidified a little bit more here um, so i'm going to add this the preservative and then i'm going to go ahead and whip it again for the second time now just bear in mind that the longer you whip this the thicker it's going to get um the thing as well is once it sits around for a little bit um it thickens okay so it depends on the sort of consistency that you want so if you want a sort of a thick consistency but sort of still slightly runny then don't whip it as much um but if you want a really sort of um you know thicker consistency not as runny then you need to whip a bit more and you might have to put pop it in the freezer um a little bit more as well just so you have the desired consistency so essentially that's all you do so go ahead and whip until you get the result that you want so at this point i had finished whipping it i'll show you basically what it looks like it's a little bit runny um still but don't worry you'll see what it looks like afterwards when it has completely cooled down so this whole thing solidifies a bit more as well um, and it literally just gave me the best consistency ever so this is what i had uh, at the end I'm just going to transfer that now to my little container um, and then that's pretty much it now I forgot to say as well guys feel free to add vitamin E to this if you want to um, just to help with the oxidization process and also essential oils just to jazz it up a bit more um, so I didn't do that because you know I didn't have any left but feel free to add as much as you normally need i usually add essentials to this but I, like i said i didn't have any left so yeah um so essentially this is what it looks like this is a final final product um so can you see how that has definitely thickened up a lot more much much thicker so this was after it sat around for about maybe like three minutes um yeah it kind of had this consistency and this is the consistency that it's been having ever since you know i made this um it's just so nice really silky um yeah literally the best thing ever that you can put in your hair this thing is so moisturizing makes your hair so shiny it really melts into your hair like crazy um so i hope you've enjoyed watching today's video and perhaps learn one thing or two and if you did guys 
please give this video a thumbs up it's really important it motivates me as well to make more videos for you guys because i get to know what you like more and subscribe to the channel if you're not already comment also guys i do read them all and i do answer them as well and i'll catch you in my next video so thank you so much until next time bye